Hello boys and girls, and welcome to another session of Journey with Jesus. Today, our story is entitled, David, the Boy Who Trusted God. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the story. A group of people called the Israelites were God's special people. They lived many, many years ago, even before Jesus had been born. Another group called the Philistines tried to attack the Israelites. The Philistines had a champion warrior called Goliath. Goliath was very scary and tall, with heavy armor. He would yell at the Israelites and insult them. He told the Israelites to send out one of their men to fight him to determine who would win the battle. Goliath made fun of the Israelites. The army of Israelite men were afraid of Goliath and the Philistines. They didn't know what to do, but a young boy called David knew exactly what to do. One day, he went up from his father's land to visit his older brothers at the battlefield. By this time, Goliath had been insulting the Israelites for 40 days. David arrived at the camp just as the Israelite army was leaving for the battlefield. Israel and the Philistines were lining up their armies for the battle. The armies were facing each other. David hurried out to the ranks to greet his brothers. As David was talking with them, Goliath stepped forward to the line. Goliath was a mighty Philistine hero from Gath. He again dared someone to fight him, and David heard it. When Israel's army saw Goliath, all of them ran away from him, just because they were filled with fear. The men of Israel had been saying, just look at how this man keeps stepping forward. Again and again he dares Israel to fight him. The king will make the man who kills him very wealthy. David said to the soldiers nearby, He dares the army of the living God to fight him? Who does he think he is? Someone heard what David said and reported it to Saul. So Saul sent for him. David said to Saul, Don't let anyone lose hope because of that Philistine. I'll go out and fight him. Saul replied, You aren't able to go out there and fight that Philistine. You are too young. He's been a fighting man ever since he was a boy. But David said to Saul, I've been taking care of my father's sheep. The Lord saved me from the paw of the lion. He saved me from the paw of the bear. And he'll save me from the powerful hand of this Philistine too. Saul said to David, Go, and may the Lord be with you. Then Saul dressed David in his own military clothing. He put a coat of armor on him. He put a bronze helmet on his head. I can't go out there in all of this armor, he said to Saul. I'm not used to it. So he took it off. Then David picked up his wooden staff. He went down to a stream and chose five smooth stones. He put them in the pocket of his shepherd's bag. Then he took his sling in his hand and approached Goliath. Goliath walked out toward David. Come over here, he said. I'll feed your body to the birds of the air. I'll feed it to the wild animals. David said to Goliath, You are coming to fight against me with a sword, a spear, and a javelin. But I'm coming against you in the name of the Lord who rules over all. He is the God of the armies of Israel. He's the one you have dared to fight against. This very day, the Lord will hand you over to me. Then the whole world will know 
there is a God in Israel. The Lord doesn't save by using a sword or a spear. And everyone who is here will know it. This battle belongs to the Lord. He will hand all of you over to us. And the Philistine moved closer to attack him. David ran quickly to the battle line to meet him. He reached into his bag. He took out a stone. He put it in his sling and he slung it at Goliath. The stone hit him on the forehead and sank into it. Goliath fell to the ground on his face. So David won the fight against Goliath with just a sling and a stone. Did you enjoy that story? We can see how God allowed Israel to have victory over their enemies just by using a little boy called David. Our memory verse for this story is Philippians chapter 4 verse 13. It says, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. And in this story, we can see how God gave David the strength and the courage to fight this mighty warrior. You may be very little, but you are not insignificant. You are very, very special to God, and God can use you mightily. You might be thinking, I am so small, I am so little, what can I do? You can do so many things for God. As a matter of fact, you can do all things through Christ who gives you strength. Look at the way David fought this giant and won the victory for all of Israel. Maybe everyone around him thought that he could not do it. But David trusted God and that is all that is required. Your trust in God. As long as you trust God, there is nothing that's too hard or impossible for you. No matter how it might seem. So just trust God. And just like David, we can do mighty things for God. So let us pray now. Let us ask God to help us, to give us the strength and courage and faith to believe in him and trust him. Even when things might seem too hard or too big for us to do. Close your eyes and let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you today for all your little boys and girls. We thank you for loving them. We thank you for keeping them. And we thank you for always caring for them. We ask you, Lord, to give them the courage and the strength. Give them the faith to trust you to do mighty things. Help them to know that with you and through you, they can do all things. They can be mighty and strong and brave little girls and boys. We thank you once again, Lord. We ask you that you continue to bless and keep them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, thank you, boys and girls, for joining us today for another session of Journey with Jesus. And until next time, we love you.